How's everybody doing? Good, how are you? Doing great. And I got a prediction. Buy's going down this weekend. I'm guaranteeing it. I'm Joe Namath right now. Buy is going down. Not much to talk about. Oh, yes, there is. How do you like what's going on in northern Minnesota right now? We've been tracking it. Huh? Yeah, we've been keeping an eye on it. You've been keeping an eye on yeah, that? Yeah. What do you know about that? Your high school team's playing for all the marbles, right? The Greenway Raiders, one of the storied high schools, my alma mater in the state of Minnesota, uh, is back to the state tournament. Um, uh, they did it in dramatic style. Uh, they played the Hermantown Hawks. The Hermantown Hawks, which is essentially North Duluth. It's a city. It's the city, you know. And the boys came down from the Iron Range, uh, went into Amsoil Arena in Duluth, home of the Bulldogs. And in, and in double overtime, now the Hermantown Hawks had won nine consecutive section titles, nine. They've been compared to the New England Patriots with the uh, divisional titles. You know, they, they, you know, and people in Duluth and people in New England talk about each other, and that's where the comparison is. Uh, but the Raiders went down right, went right into Am's Oil Arena in double overtime. Dante Lawson. Uh, from the from the storied Lawson family from Taconite, Minnesota, scores in double overtime, and the Raiders are on their way down to St. Paul. And uh, you know what? If you, if you ever wanted to loot a place, you could go up to uh, Coleraine, Bovey, Pengilly, Taconite, Calumet, Marble, uh, any of those places right now in, the, in this weekend, and uh, there ain't going to be nobody there. Unfortunately, there's probably not a lot to loot either, so you probably wouldn't want to go up there. And the people that don't go down all have guns. So uh, you may, yeah, you might want to, I should probably scratch that. Don't go up there. But uh, um, uh, go to St. Paul. Um, I'll be in St. Paul uh, rooting on the boys. Uh, we, haven't, uh, we haven't won the state tournament since 1967-68. Been a long time. Been a long drought. Um, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, uh, I'll tell you what, my hometown, uh, we produce quality people and we produce fun people. Like some of the most colorful characters on the face of the planet come from where I come from. You guys get a kick out of me. Like I'm a bore. I'm a bore. I can't even get any airtime in my hometown. That's how fun these guys are. But, uh, no, it be a lot of fun. Everybody's going to be down there. And uh, uh, these boy, the boys will be playing. They ain't playing just to participate. They'll be playing to win. I'm fired up. Bobble's making his first trip to the Minnesota State Tournament along with uh, the Raider here. And uh, uh, we're going uh, to have a good time. Only one thing I know for sure, I'm not so sure, you know, I'm, I like our chances. I like our chances. There's only one guarantee I can tell you right now uh, about the people from my hometown. Fun people, quality people, and, and characters. But if you're around uh, the city of St. Paul uh, and, and you're looking for a drink, uh, you better get one soon because there's going to be nothing left on Sunday, I can tell you that. It's going to be a good party and hopefully a great celebration party uh, for the Greenway Raiders winning their third state championship. Um, uh, anything more about anything more? Yeah? Uh I just wanted to follow up. So is your sweater retired at your high school? Did they retire your number? You know what? My sweater, you know, you know I was a goalie. Yeah. And uh, people ask me, you know, are you the greatest goalie ever to come from Greenway? And I said, I'm not even the greatest goalie to ever come off my block. There was a young man that lived two doors down from me named John Casey. So, uh, yeah, and uh, John had a little bit of a good career there as well, playing in the NHL and played for North Dakota and whatnot. So, uh, you know what? I'm not the greatest goalie ever to come out of Coleraine, not even the greatest goalie to come out of my, off my block. Unfortunately, I'm not even the greatest coach to come out of, out of Coleraine, not even, the, uh, not even the greatest coach to come off my block, not even the greatest coach to come out of my, out of my family because I got a little brother that's got uh, bragging rights on me for life. So yeah, it, it, uh, it don't matter. I come from a great place, great people. I'm very proud of it, very proud of the boys. And uh, I want to thank Billy Christopoulos for uh, getting, having me, uh, getting me the weekend off. I'm not even going to come. That's how much disrespect I have for Bye. I'm not even going to the games. Uh, I'm going to St. Paul. I'm going to watch the Greenway Raiders and uh, maybe find a couple players for the Falcons. Sounds like a good plan to me. You want us to ask you a question? <laughs> so... Obviously, you got the home ice you wanted. Now, going forward, what do you tell your team? How do we get this magic going once again? You know what? I think, you know, in some ways, we got a weird kind of magic going on right now. 
Like, I've never had a team like this, a year like this. We just had our, our conference called uh, – um, discussions with the coaches get together we talk about who we want to promote for all conference and um like we got we got one guy i mean we finished in third place we're the lowest scoring team um, in the conference lowest scoring team in the conference and we finished in third place do you know where the next four like we're number 11 10 9 8 7 do you know where those people finished the, low, the next lowest, four lowest scoring teams in the league, do you know where they finished in the league? In the bottom four. Like, how does that happen? I mean, I've never seen it. We may never see anything like that again. Um, we've had great play. Uh, Jacques Lamroux had 32 goals. Andrew Volkening was, was terrific. I mean, like Tim Kirby. We, you, you go th through all, all the great players. Eric Ean. We've never had a, a one player have such an impact on, on, on his team. You know, um, what Bill has done, he's number one in goals against, number one in save percentage, um, and he was last year, but he's even he, his numbers are better this year on a team that arguably maybe isn't quite as good, although we struggled for a while until we hit our – with the injuries last year until we hit our stride. But what's what Bill's done, uh, you know, and uh, uh, what Bill's done for our team, it, like – and you know what? Now – we're going to the playoffs. Now maybe we can help Bill a little bit, and we, if we can score a few goals for him. You know, if, if, you, like, if you can stop people, if, you, if you're good defensively, you, you always, you're, you, like you're always in the game. You, like, if you're a team that gives up a lot of goals, you're probably not long for the postseason. We aren't that team. We don't score much, but we do play well defensively. Bill plays a big part in that. And um, – you, there's never uh, you know you can't give up hope especially when 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 you have a good defensive team so you know we're going to get a, a a bye we're going to get somebody in here the games are going to be tough our league has never been better from from top to bottom i don't i don't think we have a great team in our league but we don't you know i'd say we're kind of there right there we don't have a bad team and everybody's kind of bunched up right in there and i would be shocked if if you don't see upsets I'd be shocked if you don't see a lot of, of these series go all three games. Um, I, I just think that's that's kind of the nature of the way things are in our league right now. But uh, um, no, we've kind of you know to to get where we are, it's 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 actually it's kind of miraculous. I don't know how it happened. Um, well, we do know how it happened. It, it, it was uh, you know it was uh, it was great coaching and Bill um, and. Uh, I, and I that like and I if I'm coaching if I'm going to take credit as a coach I'm going to say I was coaching the defense not the offense but uh, no I, we're all a part of it and uh, but Bill Bill's the straw that stirs the drink and uh, you know you know I, I've always said you know um, you got to be good but you also have to be a little lucky and um, you know we've had we we've been you know we've been Bill's been good we've been a little lucky and we maneuvered our way. Um, um, up into third place, the league is tight from from top to bottom, and uh, we're going to get somebody that now uh, by finishing third, we're going to get somebody that had played the previous weekend. You know, I don't wish any ill will on anybody, but I do hope whoever we play has to go three games and and go at least six overtimes in every one of those games uh, before they come trucking into the Cadet Ice Arena. But uh, that's yet to be seen. Um, right now, uh, it's a it's a Monday at one o'clock, and uh, Coach Frank. Uh, has has uh, no stomach acid. That's a good Monday for Coach Frank. That's a good that's a good Monday for the old man. So you've expressed surprise, amazement, hopefulness. Um, what else compared to like the last couple of years um, going into the postseason? Just kind of what what else is different? How how, how are you feeling differently? You know, like I, I'm just again, you know, we found a way to finish in third. Like just regardless of what you say, you know we're last in in in, in goal scored, and I'm keep talking about last in goal scored. Well, where are we? Where are we in goals against? Yeah, we're not. We're we're on the other end of the spectrum. So you you so you you know so where, where's the optimism? In that? I'm looking at our league, and to be honest with you, I'm just going, why not us? Why not us? You know, I have great respect and admiration for every team in this league, and there's not a team in this league that couldn't come in here and and knock us off. But there's not a team in the league that we can't knock off as well. So we we just need to go in this thing knowing at the end of the at the end of the, we, we we're not gonna we don't have to play the 1980 Russians in in the final game. It's not going to be that way. We're going to play a good team and a team that's uh, 
you know, that's, that's earned their way to that uh, whatever game we're playing in, if it's in the quarterfinals or semifinals or the championship. And uh, we're going to have to show up and play our best hockey. We're going to have to be good and we're going to have to be a little lucky. But we've been in that position before. You know, what's great to me is, is uh, you know, what, I, what, we, what I'm selling and I sell it all the time and I've sold it all year, sell optimism. You know, what can be? And um, why not us? Why not us? And, uh, you know, we're gonna, that's what we're preparing for. Uh, we're preparing right now. Um, we haven't been horrible. Our, our goal-scoring output has not been good. But we have played well defensively, and Bill has been fantastic. But, uh, you know, why can't, why, can't our be- why can't our best hockey be played in the next, in the next four weeks? Why not? Why not us? And that's, that's where I'm at. That's where we're going. And that's what I'm going to continue to sell until, uh, until the fat lady sings. Did you see any offensive signs of life on Saturday? Um, you know, you know what? That, uh, did I see any signs of life on Saturday? You know where I saw some signs of life was on Friday. Like I, I thought we all shot them two to one, and we threw everything at the net. We did everything but score. And, and on a given night, that was just one of those nights. I really believe it just wasn't our night. We outplayed them. I thought we played better on Friday than we did on Saturday. I thought David's team uh, played better on Saturday, and and we just found a way to get it done in the sixth period of the weekend. And uh, we got two goals in the third. Our fourth line got a, a big goal. They had been giving us uh, momentum. Uh, the whole time, but uh, uh, I've I've liked our play, and you guys know this. I like I tell you how to, I've liked our play over the last three or four weeks, and sometimes it it results in enough goals, sometimes it doesn't. But that's kind of that's kind of hockey right now, and um, you know we need to go in. We're going to obviously need four line output. We we don't have um, you know that one guy or, or two guys that that you just know on a given night that they're going to be able to get you a couple of goals or, or that big line. We're, we're not that team. We're like, we're a four line attack. And, uh, uh, and, and then we in, include our six D uh, it, we're, fi- we're a five men. Uh, we're a group of five type of team, five man offense thing. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to go in and, and everybody's going to have to embrace every aspect of our game. And, uh, we need to, we need to score by committee, but if we do that and we continue to play and we play well in front of bill again, um, you know, why not us? You know, uh, we, we have a great goaltender. We are pretty good uh, defensively. And, uh, you know, goals are not going to be at a premium for anybody usually in the playoffs. Uh, you know, if, uh, if, you need, if, 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 you're, if you have to win game six to five, you're probably not long for the season. That hasn't been the case with us. So, like I said, I'm optimistic. Um, I feel good about where we're at right now moving forward. Um, it was really good to win that last game. Find a way to win that last game because then you you're going into the break with some you know with some good juju and uh, uh, we're gonna the guys will have a little skip in their step uh, tomorrow when we have practice. Uh, we're gonna practice Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and uh, and then we're gonna come back next week and uh, and practice on um, Monday and Tuesday and then Thursday. Um, and we're going to take we're going to take Wednesday off because you, you with the, the next weekend could very well be playing three games and three nights. So we want to if we're going to air, we're always going to air to the side of rest and uh, rest is a weapon this time of year. And uh, we're going to air to the side of that. But uh, no, I'm excited. I'm enthused. Um, our senior class needs one more win to be the all time uh, leading uh, wins class. And uh, I'm I'm glad that they're not there yet. I'm still they they got something else. they got a little uh, still got stuff to play for, um, so uh, they're they're guaranteed one. The other thing on Saturday night we won, and we're guaranteed a winning season. Now in the grand scheme of things, that that and a dollar won't buy you a cup of coffee at Starbucks, um, but it, it's nice to know that this great senior class that uh, have been a part of two NCAA Final Eights. Um, you know they're gonna they they will graduate with uh, all four of the years being being winning seasons. I think that's pretty cool. Coach at the state, back to your high school for a minute. Is that at XL? It is at the yeah. XL Energy Center. Now, do anybody from your old high school have you know the mullets are such a big thing when they do the introductions? Mullets never went out where I come from. No, no, no. mullets. Yeah, I, actually, people, uh, you know, they, uh, I get calls and I get guys. They uh, they get they give me crap, you know, saying I'm, I'm what are you conforming? You're become what are you becoming a city guy or whatever? No, no, mullets are still cool. You you can actually you can do whatever you that that's where I come from. You can be whatever you want to be, um, as long. As is acceptable by the group. Does that make sense? Yeah. Isn't it a tradition though at the high school tournament in in Saint, at St. Paul? They introduce all the kids and 
they put a big montage together. The kids with the best mullets, right? Oh yeah, oh, the mullets. best hair. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They skate to center right, or the, the blue line and do all that with their hair and all that. Oh yeah, my oh oh my guy, the Greenway guys will be good at that. Yeah, we'll win that too. Yeah.